Welcome to another vlog. Do you remember when you say that all the time? It feels like everything's going wrong. So I got up, I took the bed in off the bed. I put the stain remover on some stains. I felt like I was really had my life together. Put it in the washing machine. And the washing machine sounds like it's literally gonna blow up. Yeah, I saw smoke and I panicked. Got my white bedding out with my white shirt on that I live in at the moment. And it was covered in just black crap. I'm just stepping over it and kicking it in anger. Whose great idea was it to only have one duvet that you wash and put back on? I now have to get a new washing machine. But oh my god, the Samsung washing machines. They look very exciting. And to be fair, I've never purchased a washing machine before. The person that gave me their washing machine, their girlfriend moved in with them and they decided to keep her washing machine. Wrong move, because it broke a year later and I'm here eight years on and it's only just decided to sound like it's gonna blow up. So I'm having one of the days where I feel like everything is just going wrong. I'm being very indecisive and I'm waiting on things to know whether I can do other things that it's not helping the indecision. So I thought I'm just gonna pick up the camera. Why? I don't know, I was being indecisive about that too. What have you got to film? Look what arrived. No, I'm not my organized bubble MUA, but I do have to get rid of my dressing table. And when you're used to this, you can't just go to a makeup bag. I mean, it doesn't look all that great right now, but usually it's a bit more ordered. You can move these around and stuff. And then for the brushes, and then this bit and that bit, it's just, it's great. This is gonna be in the bathroom. So I'm thinking, do I put skincare in here? Is this just like a get ready bag? I'll link this below, it's from Amazon. I did order a smaller one, which as you can see is going back. So yeah, I'll link the pink one as well. I really liked it. However, with anything organization and storage, I like a little bit extra. I don't like to feel like this just fits because what about if I buy a, a palette? Probably not. I've had the same naked palette for probably an amount of years you're not meant to have them. But if I wanted to buy another one or something else that didn't fit, now what? The whole organization system doesn't work? Is that my delivery? Play it cool, stand by the door, I'm not waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Got the goods. It wasn't the man that sees me all the time. Do you know what it gets a bit embarrassing? You're like, oh, another one for me. Oh, did I order that? <laughs> And you have some really crap jokes. I caved and had to order maternity stuff because I literally have like three outfits. What is all this material? What the fuck? I can't even pull, I can't even pull them up. I was literally about to stop trying the stuff on and give up. And then ribbed leggings came through. I loved ribbed leggings. They do these in non-maternity, so I'll link both. And of course I like them. So here they are, there's not much to show. They're black ribbed leggings. And these are the slate ones. I'm an 8 to 10, I got these in a medium. Non-maternity normal ones, I think I usually get in a small. They also do ribbed long sleeve tops, which used to fit me when I wasn't pregnant. But I love them, they go really well with these leggings. So I'll also link there. But I'm glad that's over, I don't want to try anything else on. I hate trying things on, I hate it. Anyone else? You never know what to have for lunch, you just stand there eating snacks, thinking. It doesn't help, but I need to go food shopping. Love unitards and place... just happened. <laughs> Ow! I made myself an egg sandwich inspired by my salad cream that has an egg on it. I was like, ooh, egg sandwich. So to stay on the theme of the vlog, which is just me being a miserable bitch, let's have a little rant, shall we? Okay, it's not really a rant, but I feel like we need to manage expectations. Don't look at what I'm drinking, pretend it's water. I've got a bottle of water on the go too, but I just fancied a little freeway. <laughs> Woo! So after I announced my pregnancy on YouTube, on Instagram, I did a question box. Quite a lot of people said things that was clear to me that they misunderstood what I meant by I'm not gonna be a mum vlogger. I know you're not into it, but I'd love to see kids organization stuff or um, I'm pregnant and I wanna know all the baby stuff. So on Instagram, I explained what I meant. Then the other day, I put another question box up, which I don't know if this is me being really temperamental right now, cause I'm a bit, I've got a bit of the pregnancy rage, or it was a shitty comment. But I had a couple, again, all, loads of questions were about babies and pregnancy. And then someone was something like, oh, I thought you wasn't gonna be a mum vlogger, or just something along those lines. And I read it and I was like, Pfft. I just felt 
vulnerable. That's when I hit my fuck it button. Then I thought, right, wait, hold on, darling, calm down. She might not have seen me explaining what I meant by that. So I'm just going to explain what I meant by I'm not going to be a mum vlogger. Those family vlogging channels, their kids are part of the show. I'm not going to be that, but I am going to be a mum who vlogs. So it would be bit strange if like my organizing video i'm like oh i'm just organizing this new pax extension for something I'm trying you a pax wardrobe essentially yeah i'm putting baby stuff in but to me that's still about organizing and people do take you really literally online so i'm saying i'm not going to show my kids like that but then if you see a clip of them that doesn't mean like oh she's not gonna i'm not sat here like you're my best friends i tell you everything i don't so i wouldn't show a whole child's life on TikTok, I see all them videos and what they can do with AI, people showing their kids eating foods that's suggestive in nappies. There's a lot of weirdos online and I'm not about to be giving them content. And I also said there's nothing worse than when you're following someone, they become a mum and then it's all just about their kid. That's my opinion! What I meant by that is I still want to do the videos that I've done before, but when you look at my channel, like, what do I even do? Realistically, I wouldn't have bought a makeup organiser to even be able to do that if I wasn't having a baby anyway, so it's gave me excuse to do organising videos, which I do before. But I'm doing them because I am organising to fit a baby here, like, that's just the facts. To an extent, it is about my life as well, so... There's no way of me getting around mentioning a baby or a child or whatever. Especially when you're pregnant because I can't exactly be like, say it or shut it. Can you imagine if I do like a food shop haul and then I've got my kids food. I'm like, wait, let me get this out because I didn't want to be a mummy vlogger. I might do some videos, which I actually technically haven't yet, where it's all dedicated to being a mum. Like if I do a video on the gastroschisis, which I will because... I wish there was a video of someone in the UK that I could have watched when I got that diagnosis and that's why I'm talking about it generally. I'm also trying to remain as what I usually would do. Like if I go to Ikea, I'll show some of the mum stuff as well as all the other crap I would show. Basically it's just like another category added to me, but it's not going to be all of me. I think of an example, like Gemma Louise Miles, I've watched the whole time she's done YouTube and she become a mum and I didn't just switch off. But then some of the more mum heavy videos, like her pregnancy diaries, I didn't watch until I was pregnant. I watched her other ones that included stuff, like the baby's room and stuff. I still wanted to watch that, even as someone that wasn't pregnant or even thinking of having kids at that point. It's just gonna be an, an extra added part of my channel, but it's not gonna be the whole thing. But obviously while I'm pregnant, it does kind of consume you. It's the same sort of stuff, just there's going to be an element of baby or child or pregnancy to it. And there will be some just pure mum stuff. If you're not into that, skip it. And then the next thing was about, I think you'd be good at sharing mum hacks and organisation. So I said, this is a good example of what I would want to share online. Things that don't include putting your child on there. And I would be interested in doing that, which is classed as mum content that you might not care about. Don't watch that stuff, watch the other stuff. But then in the general stuff, like I couldn't be doing a clean with me and be like, well, let me bypass their bedroom or their section of my bedroom because I'm not a mum vlogger. <laughs> like that's just weird. So if I saw someone on Instagram organising their kids' bedrooms and they were doing their kids' wardrobe and I'm like, oh, I can have that in my wardrobe. Yeah, they're doing their kids' room. But actually, I like that box that they're using and I can use that in my room. So now that we've cleared that up, my nails look like shit. I can majorly put in off going to the post office now. I definitely just stepped in dog shit. When I first moved into the flat, I picked all this colour stuff. Fun fact. What would you toast on top, though? This is like, it says croissant. Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! I like them ones. Or that one. Or this one. They look like if, it, if the mini was a toaster. Wait, look, that's pink. No, you don't like it? Don't love it? I like... <gasps> and the toast kill. Oh yeah, I do like these kettles. I like the cream one. Bloody hell, there's so many, isn't there? Let's find out. What one are we gonna get? Ooh, slightly exciting. <laughs> That's what we was looking at online, weren't we? Look at this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. No, that's cheaper than Ikea, and that's actually so much softer. Do we get this for the recycling? 
I'd like one of these bins. That looks delicious to me. But apparently it's disgusting. One eternity later. And this is the washing machine we went for in the end. It's so good, I love it. I feel like I've entered 2023 and listen to the little noises it makes. Hi, Samsung. You ready? Do, do, do. And at the end, it does this little funky little song. We all love the song. And it also has an app. I feel like... Dun, 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 see ya. I just feel like I'm very modern now. It looks like a spaceship. I'm getting spaceship vibes. And the best part is... Forget something. Oh, no, you don't. Whack it in there and you add wash bit. How good is that? First, I was just accidentally dropping a sock so I could add it in. Yep. I know. I need to get a life. Big old shiny drum. It's bigger than my last one. Fresh and clean. And I aim to keep it that way. I don't know what this one's called, but I'll link it below anyway, if you're interested. Who knew a washing machine could be so bloody exciting? It also has made the kitchen look better. I don't know why, it just has. <laughs>